What's up YouTube photographer Ronix with another tutorial and this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily achieve a melanin skin tone for your images in Photoshop. So simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you haven't hit the like button or even done the subscribing yet. So simply do that one and we proceed with this very video. So you can see the before and the after, before, after. And later on I want to give you a bonus tip where you can easily create a preset or a Photoshop plot to apply this color grading to your future images so stick around and let's go ahead and we'll learn how to do this kind of melanin color grading so I'll simply delete the color grading so before you color grade remember your images have to be warm remember images with a warm white balance are easier to color grade when it comes to this kind of melanin color grading step so after ensuring that the image is warm let's go ahead and start color grading so the very first step regarding color grading is simply coming and creating a black and white adjustment layer. And first of all, coming the opacity and simply turning down the opacity. So just turn it down up to around, I'll put it at around 15. That's okay. Then I'll create another second black and white adjustment layer. And I'll simply change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And I'll simply reduce on the opacity. I think up to around 20, 21 is fine. Then after ensuring that, I'll come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and come to the master and make sure I select red. So remember skin tones are part of the reds in the HSO panel. So I'll just come and select the reds. Then come to the lightness and simply take the lightness down until when I feel like I'm getting that kind of melanin skin tone all that kind of melanin look so i feel like the image is a little bit warm for my liking i'll come and create another selective color adjustment layer and with this i'll simply select the red still and take away the yellows slightly and come to the cyan and add some kind of cyan to the image so that is what this has been about then we are going to create one final adjustment layer, which is the last black and white adjustment layer right here. And after doing that, change it once again to multiply. And this time around, the opacity is going to be slightly low, up to around 6. And create one final hue and saturation adjustment layer. And this time around, we are going to come to the yellows and take down the lightness of the yellows and simply take down the saturation of the yellows up to when you feel like you're having the look that you want so this is fine negative 70 is fine so right now we have gotten the melanin look but it's now affecting the background but i'll be showing you how to fix that later on so you can see what we had as uh, before this is the starting point that's the before after before after so in order to save this as a lot or preset don't put the color grid in a group just leave the adjustments the way they are right now so in order to create the lot simply come right here to file and come to export and come to look up tables and after doing that you're going to come you can add some copyright information if at all you wish to and make sure the lot is set to cube and make sure we are going to select let's let's use both cube and 3d lat then you're going to set the grid point to 32 and medium is selected and you're going to come and hit ok then choose the location where I want to save the lat you're going to name that melanin and after doing that you're going to simply hit save and the light is going to be saved so if at all you want to prove if at all the light has been successfully saved you're going to put this in a group first of all and just hide that briefly so in order to apply the light just come to the adjustments and simply select color lookup right here and simply come to 3d light and click and again left click to load the light so we saved ours on the desktop so I'll just come to 
the desktop and look for my melanin LUT. So I'm just going to choose the LUT right here and simply click on open. And you can see it has applied the same color grading that we initially created. So like I said, that is how you can save the LUT. But if I thought the LUT is also affecting the background, what you have to do with the LUT applied to the image, simply hit Ctrl I on the keyboard or you can press Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect and come and get the brush tool, the normal brush tool. Make sure the hardness is set to 0% and soft round brush is selected. Opacity at 100%, flat 100%. Make sure that you have black and white on these two color swatches. So if at all you don't have black and white, you can simply reset these colors to black and white. If at all you have any other random colors by pressing D on the keyboard. And that is going to bring back black and white on these two color swatches. Then make sure white is the foreground color. So with the white brush, we're going to paint on a black mask. Remember in Photoshop, black hides and white reviews. That is why the color grading was hidden behind this black mask. So using a white brush, you're going to paint on to the model skin to reveal our melanin kind of skin tone or melanin color grading. So just paint on only the skin so that the other areas of the image are not affected by uh, the color grading so just paint like that reduce on the size by using the bracket key on the keyboard the right bracket key is going to reduce on the size of the brush and continue painting so make sure you paint on every area that has skin just like that so if i told you paint extras or in excess switch the brush back to black by pressing x on the keyboard you can use this arrow key and with the black as the foreground color, it can easily rub off or eliminate the extras that you have painted within uh, the image. So this is basically our before, after, before, after. So just be careful in trying to do a painting. And you can do or take your time. So this is it for this video. You can say before, after, before, after. And if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. If at all you have been watching, I don't know, subscribe to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.